Hello friends! What's up? You probably hate me already by the title of the video, but look, look, Eddie's here. So show me some love. <laughs> So to start it off, I hope you got this notification for the new video with my new ringtone. If you guys don't know how I have ringtones, I have three out. Also, I kind of tore my finger open. If you watch my vlog channel, you can see that. But the ringtones are in the links in the description, so if you want to go check those out, they are down there. And if you get them, make sure you tweet me, at Joey Kidney, and I will follow you. I just promoted so many things in like a sentence. Oh, wow. So for those who don't know me, don't hate me just yet, this is called a Things Get Real. This is where I talk about any subject and I talk about it in the realest way possible. So I can just sit or stand and walk and talk and just get real with you guys. And today's topic is something that I did and I was very dumb, but I'm owning up to it. Before I get started, I hope everyone's doing okay. How are you doing? How's school? It's almost done, I think. No? I, I really don't know. I don't really care. I just hope you're having fun, and I hope you're enjoying the content that I'm putting out, and I hope we're just, we're all having a good, good time. This is me trying to make it so you don't hate me at the end of this video. <laughs> yeah, because it's about to get real. I guess I can't really uh, not talk about it any longer, um, so let's get into it. When I was 16 years old, I was friends with this girl. And I'm not gonna say her name because it's none of my business to share. I was friends with this girl and she came up to me one day in I think it was like anthropology class. And she sat down and she said, Joey, I trust you, you're a good friend of mine. I need your opinion. Whenever a woman says that they need your opinion, run. Please just run. You are wrong. Whatever you say is wrong. And at that time, when I was 16 years old, my stupid, dumb, young brain did not know. Before this story even gets started, I'm actually kind of thankful for not what I did, but the fact that it happened, because otherwise, I don't think I would have learned that as quick as I should have. What not to do. <laughs> Back to the story, this girl asked me, she said, Joey, why don't guys like me? Why don't they think I'm attractive? And I looked at her and I said, you are a very attractive girl, you're a very beautiful girl. And she says, no, I know I have a nice face. I know I'm pretty. And then she asked me this, she said, but do you think if I was skinnier, guys would like me more? So it would match my face. And stupid me said the hard and honest truth. Yeah, I think more guys would like you. <laughs> and that was the dumbest thing to this day that I have ever said to a woman. I basically just told this girl that guys would like her if she was skinnier. That guys didn't like her because she was fat. Now, obviously I tried to say it in the nicest way possible back when I was a kid, I wasn't a complete asshole, but even the fact that I said anything like that makes me by far the worst human being on the planet. You should never, ever, ever judge someone by their weight. So now's the point in the video where you all are gonna go in the comment section down below and be like, oh my god, Joey, you're such a horrible human being, never call a woman that, blah 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 this, you are horrible, go die, go kill yourself. Yeah, yes, all correct. And I'm not making this video to try and make myself look good, it was just something that I was thinking about because she popped up on my Facebook feed again. So a couple months back, I was scrolling through Facebook and this girl popped up again, and I did not even recognize her. The reason why I didn't recognize her is because she lost a lot of weight, she started going to the gym, she started really working out, and working out for herself, looking good for herself. Not that she didn't look good the way she was before, that's not what I'm saying. Don't put words in my mouth. I'm saying she looked healthy, she looked really happy. As I'm thinking that this girl is looking amazing for herself, I was gonna message her and be like, you look really, really good, you look really happy, you look really healthy. And it occurred to me that I probably ruined this girl's life. She probably went through so much trauma because of what I said to her. She could have starved herself. She could have been bulimic. She could have treated her body horribly to get the way she looks now. And to think that is horrible, but also to think that I have the right to tell her that she looks good now, that's, yeah, I don't have the right. So I sent her a message. And the message went a little bit something like this. First off, I apologized right off the bat. And I asked her how she was doing. I asked her if she's okay and if, if, if life's treating her well. 
And she said it was. She said she's really happy. Right then and there, I apologized for what I said to her. Now I know I should apologize to her the moment I said it. <laughs> I shouldn't even have said it, first of all, but the moment I said it when I was 16 years old. But it didn't occur to me. I, mean, I can't believe I'm gonna do this, but quoting JB, it's never too late to say sorry. It takes a lot of guts to say sorry to somebody and apologize to somebody after doing something horrible. Anyways, after I said all this, I told her that she looked really good. And she said thank you. Now to think for a second that I could have ruined this girl's life it just kills me inside. Now again, this is the point where everybody's gonna comment, oh my god, go kill yourself, you're a horrible human being, die. Hold on. Now, I don't know any of you personally. I don't know who's watching this video. Could be a million, could be one, could be 10,000, could be whatever number. But I know that you're human. And I know you judge people. We all judge people. I judge people. I just gave an example of how I judge somebody. Everybody judges people and don't think that you haven't done the same as what I did when I was 16 years old. There's a time when you walk the streets and you looked at somebody because they were obese and think, how can they walk? There's a time when you saw somebody that was overweight and they were in a wheelchair and you thought, why don't they just get up and walk? There was a time that you saw somebody with a very stick figure and you said that they were too skinny. There was a time where your friend took off their shirt and you saw the ribs poking out and you didn't know what to say because you were too disgusted. There was a time when you made fun of somebody because of their weight and you didn't say sorry. And don't think I'm just talking to the people who are average size or perfect body. I'm talking to everybody. Whether you're overweight or underweight or any weight, no matter how you look or who you are, you've judged somebody. It's okay, I'm not gonna kill you. No one's gonna kill you unless, unless you're harmful to somebody. I just want you to understand that people hurt. People have feelings. Eddie's gonna join me because he's been walking around. People hurt. People have feelings. He has feelings. If I look at him and I call him, hey man, you're looking pretty fat. He's gonna know. He will know. Hey big dude? Yeah. People have emotion. And it doesn't take somebody to just look at you and talk. It takes the emotion in your voice and what you're saying. So understand that if you have ever said any harmful words to somebody ever and you thought maybe that might not have hurt them, it did. And understand that it's also never too late to say so. You can make somebody's day amazing after you've made it the worst just by saying that they don't look good. You can tell them, I'm sorry, I take that back. It's not my spot to judge how you feel about yourself. Tell people they look good. Tell people if they're trying to gain weight or if they're trying to lose weight that they're doing a good job. Motivate people. There's so much hatred on this planet as there is and we don't need to cause more. Love each other. So I guess we're left with this. To the girl who I called fat when I was 16 years old, I'm sorry. Fortunately, I can't tell you in person. You don't live near me anymore, but I'm sorry. I'm genuinely sorry and I wish the best for you. I hope you're healthy, I hope you're happy, I hope you're doing well. Because you look well, you look happy, and you look healthy. Anyways guys, I guess that's it for today's video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. Share your opinion in the comments down below. If you hate me after this video, I understand. But we've all done stupid stuff when we were 16. All the stupid things I've done just went through my mind and now I hate myself. <laughs> I know this video doesn't make up for what I did. But it's better to admit something than to think it never happened. That's what influenced my saying, which is stay you, stay beautiful, live to be happy and be happy to live, and start loving each other, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Let me paint you a story about how I found the love of my life. She's the one that's smiling back behind all of these lights yeah we met when we were younger she thought i was a